Hey guys, I posted this picture the other day on Instagram of my daughter's hair and this was also inspired by another Instagrammer. So if you want to see credits to this hairstyle, please check out that picture. So I'm starting with freshly washed hair and what I am doing is I'm spritzing the hair with a water and glycerin mix. I began by parting the hair into two sections and now I'm just parting it into another section. So once the hair is parted into three sections, what I do is I part her hair into a V shape. Next, I'm saturating my hand with my Everything Butter Mixture. As you guys know, I put this stuff all over her hair and it helps keep her hair moisturized throughout the week and it also helps with retaining the length. And I'm just spritzing again because her hair started to get dry. So what I'm doing is I'm braiding the hair upwards. Now because her hair started drying out, um, I did start experiencing tangles. So I'm also, in addition to showing you guys how I braid the hair upwards, I'm showing you guys how to combat tangles when you come across them. As you can see, I'm very, very gentle with going through the tangles. I never rake my hands through the hair or use a comb to detangle. I'm just very patient and very gentle when I get to a tangle. So just continue to braid the hair upwards. Now once I get midway through the corn roll, what I do is I just go ahead and stop and I coil her hair. That's going to help keep the moisture in her hair and help keep her hair moisturized for a week. So now I'm continuing to do the same exact thing on the other side of her hair. Now once you are done doing those two braids on that side, you want to go ahead and do the same exact thing on the other side, making the braids very symmetrical to the side that you just completed. Okay, so now it's time to start the top of her hair, and what I am doing is I am parting her hair upwards. The top section is going to have three braids. Now you want to be careful with this section because it is um, close to her edges so just be slow when you are doing this section and I actually sped this part up because I'm at the end. So once you have completed that, now you want to do the same exact thing to the other side. So I'm just showing you guys that I did the same thing to the other side. Okay. So now I am doing the braid um, to the end, close to the center part, and what I did was I made it symmetrical to the V-shaped braid in the back. And once that's completed, I only have one more braid on that side. And that is the middle braid, which is going to be the biggest braid at the top of the hair. So she actually woke up during this part, um, so I could not complete it on camera. But I'll show you guys how it looks once it's completed. So once you complete each side, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just put it into a bun. Don't make it tight because you don't want it to be uncomfortable. So that is the back of her hair. This hairstyle is so cute. And 
hair is the front of her hair and as I stated this is not an original hairstyle uh, it was inspired by someone else and I did give them credit on my Instagram page so you guys have been asking how I protect her hair and this is how I protect her hair she is wearing a stocking cap and she's getting so much better with keeping this cap on actually throughout the day so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask and thanks for watching